All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we're gonna to be unboxing a couple of straps. And I gotta to admit to you guys, I've never, I don't think I've ever bought straps from this company before, but the reason I use them is because searching the internet, I was only able to find very limited uh, number of people that have NATO straps with actual bronze hardware. There's a lot of stuff out there that's uh, rose gold plated or um, you know DLC plated in a gold color, but I wanted something that was real bronze so it would patina with the watch a little bit. Uh, on the wrist today, guys, the Omega SMP, the Seamaster Professional. But so I ordered these from NATO Straps Company, and to be honest with you, even at that, they had a very limited supply in 22 millimeter, and so the colors I chose, I basically chose them because they were the two they had in stock. So let's go ahead and I'll stop jabber John, and we will open this up and see what we have here in the package. Looks like I've got a seat here that I cut in half <laughs> with a knife. I'll pull that out of there because I got my purchaser information on there. And inside of here, we've got the two straps. So, like I said, the real reason I went with this company um, is they basically have the straps in stock, which was the big deal for me. And I wanted actual bronze hardware. So, let's see what we have here. And these guys are, I think these came out of New Jersey or New York. So, let's check out their card here really quick. Thank you for your business. NATOstraps.com. So pretty cool company. They were really easy to deal with. Oh, that's sweet. That is sweet. I've actually got a setup just like that on my SKX011J1, the orange boy. That looks awesome. So very cool setup. So all right, let's go ahead and open the package and check out the straps we have in here. Both are uh, heavy duty feeling. I can tell you that right off the bat, just from the feel of them. Um, so this one is a single pass. So I ordered two different styles. This would be considered what I think is a Zulu, the single pass strap like this. I really tend to like these single pass, but I love the color of this one here. I think this is called like gray matter or something like that um, is what they're calling it. But I really like the color. This does look like genuine uh, bronze hardware. And that's what they said it was. It does look like it's actually got a little bit of patina definitely developing there. So that's cool. And that's going to match up you know, to the watch quite well. So what we're gonna do real quick here is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put each of the straps on the Steiny here. So a little different. Now this this doesn't really have as much patina. What's interesting is somebody told me that this wasn't bronze in one of the videos, and I don't know. It's starting to develop a patina, but they said it wasn't true bronze, but it says right on the back of the watch it's solid bronze, but kind of interesting. This almost has more of a, a coppery color maybe or something like that, like copper pipe, but um, I don't know. It said it, it said that it was genuine bronze hardware. So, but let's go ahead and pause it and get. Uh, we'll go with this one first. We'll get the Zulu on the watch first, and then we'll go with the uh, the other one. So, check it out. And so, I got the watch off of the leather bracelet. I wanted something for summertime that I could get wet and wear, you know, in the water if I take this one swimming. So that's why I wanted to get a couple NATO straps for it or rubber straps. But it's tough to find stuff that actually has bronze hardware on it. So that is a nice looking combination. I definitely like the way that looks on there. This is a stiff strap though. It almost feels like I could throw it in the washing machine. You know, go through the washing machine once or twice in the pocket of a pair of jeans to kind of soften it up. But that's, you know, when you get high quality, thick NATO straps like that, that's kind of the way it is. You got to deal with that. So break them in a bit. So the the keepers and everything seem to be sewn in very nicely. Almost look like they're double stitched possibly there. But if not, they're single stitched very well. Nice edges here. Nothing sharp or pokey on the edge. You know, sometimes when they cut this other layer off, they'll leave... Um, some pokey stuff there. It's really nice. This is a really, really nice strap. These aren't cheap. Um, I got to tell you guys, I'll leave a link to this company down below, but these were 30, like over $30 a piece. So they're not inexpensive straps. They are a really high quality strap. And especially I think because you, you're getting that bronze hardware, you're paying a little bit more. So let's see what it looks like on the gray matter one. I'm kind of interested to see you know, if this even works out, this colorway. So, and I bought it like this, you know, in this style, the, the, I guess you guys correct me if I'm wrong. Is this the Zulu? I think this is the Zulu style and this is like a regular NATO, you know, a, a pass through NATO. I don't know. Um, let me know down below. I should have probably studied that before I start talking about it. But anyways, let's go ahead and put it on the, uh, on this one. I think they call this gray matter. I think this other one down here was like a desert sand or whatnot, but I'll leave links down below. You know, I didn't I didn't know how this was going to look, but I actually, I like that. I really, really like the way that looks. I think that adds a lot of contrast to the watch. This is a brown watch. Even the dial on the watch is brown. And so um, with the hardware, with the bronze hardware like that, 
um, which is almost coppery to me. It almost looks like copper hardware, not bronze. That's kind of interesting, but um, looks good. And this is this is definitely like a blue gray or a grayish blue. I don't know. Do you guys think it's got a to me? It's got a hint of blue in it. But that looks really nice. So good looking stuff. So if you guys are looking for straps for a bronze watch, might might be checking these guys out. If you guys know any other companies out there that are making some really nice. Uh, watch straps with bronze hardware let me know uh, down below in the description so I can check them out also so um, something to play with on the Steinhardt the bronze Steinhardt still have not done a full review I want to give it 30 days minimum to get some patina on the case of this wash if you guys saw the unboxing video it's actually already started to get a little bit of uh, color to it compared to when I unboxed it it was really bright and shiny when I unboxed it but looking good so got to keep keep wearing this watch on the wrist and probably going to play with some of these new straps now um Looks good. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one in this style, if I'm going to cut it down to a single pass. That might make it even nicer and easier to wear, although it does look really good with all this hardware hanging off of it and stuff. Looks kind of tough, but... All right, guys, that's that. So lots more to come this weekend. I've actually got quite a bit to do. I'm going to do a, a bespoke post box. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. They're on Instagram, but they put together these kind of uh, boxes um, for girls or guys, but kind of manly looking stuff. And you can choose the stuff you get in the box. It's like a subscription for wine or whatnot. 50 bucks, I think, around that a month. Um, but I'm going to open one of those that I got here just recently. And I've also got, I'm so excited about this, I've also just today picked up the MAS watches, the JCB, the new dress watch they're going to be putting out there. I've got the prototype rose gold with red dial. And man, guys, that is one hot watch. So stick around over the weekend to check it out, guys. Thanks for tuning into the channel. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.